Diagnosing the open or empty uterus in a cow. In this video, we will be using ReaperScan ultrasound equipment. All the images were captured using a 4.0 MHz convex rectal probe mounted in a Repro arm. Let's review the anatomy of the Repro tract. There's the cervix, uterus, the left and right ovary. We'll be using these color markers as we go through this video. So here's a cow, and we see the cervix, uterus, and bladder when we look through the side. And here, a repro arm with a 4.0 megahertz convex rectal probe is inserted into the rectum, advanced over the uterus. Now, it's rotated 180 degrees ovary to ovary. So here we're marking out some landmarks, the pelvis in green, the bladder in red. Now let's insert the repro arm into this model. On the right, we have an image, a 22 centimeter depth, two centimeter grid. There's the pelvis in green, the bladder highlighted in red. And now we're going to advance the repro arm further and we're gonna highlight the uterus in yellow. And there's our first image of a uterus on the right in yellow, bladder is marked as well. We will now go through a series of 11 examinations and here we're highlighting the uterus on the left and on the right over the image. And here's a cross section both on the left and on the right the, on the ultrasound image. So the exercise here is to train people's eye to detect that slight different color of gray. Circling in the, the uterus now in examination number two both on the left and the right, and we'll keep highlighting that bladder and pelvis to help you with the orientation. So just think of that ultrasound probe rotating over that reproductive tract on the left, and here we are circling the ovary in blue. We're doing an outline on the left of the bladder and circling the bladder on the image on the right, and the same with the pelvis and now the uterus. We're outlining the uterus. And again, the exercise is to train one's eye to quickly identify that slightly different color of gray. There's a cross section at the top, and now we've got a slice through the body of the uterus there. Nice clear bladder. We're rotating that probe over the uterus. We're outlining the uterus again in yellow, and they're just highlighting the pelvis Note that it's mostly black under the pelvis. Ultrasound doesn't go through the bone. We get some artifact though. Focus on that different gray color, looking for cross sections of that uterus. On to exam four, there's a different track picture on your left, and we're just highlighting that small corner of this image, which is the uterus, but we've got a nice cross section there. We'd like to rotate over that uterus some more. We want at least three cross sections before we make our diagnosis of open or empty. There is a cross section, another one, one more there and a partial one right there in that image. Note the vigorous rotation over that uterus. On to exam five, not quite as clear off initially. We're gonna keep rotating over that uterus and here we've got a shot with one, two, three, and a fourth cross section, and we'll make our diagnosis of open uterus. On to examination six. The next six exams were captured using XTC set at 15 and 22 depth. So this is a 15 depth, and there's multiple slices through the uterus there, just above the pelvis. The uh, video on the left is courtesy of Alta Genetics, and it just shows you the texture of that uterus. And of course, this is a postmortem sample. It's a little bit uh, weak. But there's some cross sections through that uterus, just where that hand is feeling that uterus would be a bit what it's like. The, in the blue is the cervix. And just picture grabbing that cervix. You might want to go back and review that part of that clip. Here we are outlining the uterus, a 22 centimeter depth, and the bladder very distinct there in red. There's a cross section, two cross sections highlighted just above the pelvis. So we're moving on to examination number eight, very clear bladder, 
and we find that different gray color we're outlining it so you can tra again train your eye and we're going to rotate until we get some nice distinct cross sections of open uterus Examination number nine, somewhat similar, 22 depth. There's our uterus outlined. We're just ahead of the bladder and above the pelvis. Vigorous rotation helps push some of the manure out of the way. A couple of clear cross sections just ahead of our bladder. We'll now go on to examination number 10, rotating 180 degrees, ovary to ovary. We're stopping here on a frozen image, circling that uterus, looking for those circular cross sections. And there we have a distinct one. We get these nice cross sections when the probe is at 90 degrees to the uterus. On to the last examination, number 11. We saw the bladder. We see that different gray color outlined there. And we're gonna to rotate to get some cross sections. Before we finish this video, let's just stress double checking the opens or empties. All people learning to ultrasound should recheck the opens. So how to do it? Reach in to the rectum, remove some manure, grasp the cervix, retract the uterus, then reinsert the ultrasound probe. The image will become much clearer. Here we see someone reaching in, grasping the cervix. I recommend you wear a glove retract that uterus, then reinsert the probe, and recheck. Just like Colin Hammond here in New Zealand, watch how he reaches in very quickly. You can take your time, grasp the cervix, retract, rescan. Much clearer image. Thank you for watching this video. Please contact us at the ReaperScan office if you have any questions at 877-890-2411. Thank you.